Well, big news from scientists who focus on the oceans. Two new studies highlighting some dramatic and much different activity underwater, one of them relatively close to home for some of us. Just 400 kilometers west of Vancouver, an underwater volcano has been erupting, and Johanna Wagstaff has been following that for us. Joe. That's right. Just offshore, 400 kilometers to the southwest, a volcano is spewing lava onto the ocean floor. And you can't see it from the ocean surface, and it doesn't pose a threat to land, but scientists are pretty excited, and that's because they've been studying this particular volcano chain under the water for quite some time now. This is part of the Juan de Fuca Ridge, all part of the same system that's connected to the earthquakes we get off the southwest coast. This is where two plates are spreading apart and magma is welling to the surface, and the axial seamount is a particular volcano that's erupting. And I want to show you pictures of this particular volcano. Scientists have been studying for 15 years, and just last summer, the University of Washington Washington installed instruments to help record uh, its movement underwater, basically setting up a fiber optic cable. So this is an unprecedented look at a deep sea eruption, really the first time we've wired a volcano under the seafloor. So last week, uh, the center of the volcano crater actually dropped by two meters, and the number of earthquakes increased to about 8,000 back on April 24th. So that's when they think the eruption started, and uh, scientists are pretty excited to uh, look through that data. It's erupting as we speak because, of course, uh, this is the most common type of eruption anywhere around the world, and there's a connection to early life with those hydrothermal events, so just in our neck of the woods. So from something with connection to early life to a dead zone, that was the other oceanic story today. That's right. This one, still a lot we need to learn about. It Basically a spinning eddy in the open ocean, uh, spinning so fast that oxygen can't get through, and uh, we, we uh, not a lot of life can live in these 100-kilometer uh, wide eddies. So just discovered today... Uh, uh, kind of dire, but again, scientists uh, just beginning to study this one. All right, Johanna, thank you very much. You're welcome.